Hi guys, it's Mrs. Frady with an art lesson from home again. Today I'm going to be introducing you to a new artist I've discovered and I think you'll really enjoy his style. And I'm going to show you a little bit about how he makes what he does and challenge you to do a mixed media piece of artwork today. The materials an artist uses to create art is called their medium. Some people, their favorite medium is watercolor paint. Some artists prefer sculpting out of marble. Some artists prefer colored pencils. So when you use more than one medium in the same piece of art, we call that mixed media. And that's what I'm gonna to do today. And that was my dog Gibbs that just walked by. Here's a picture I've been working on. And so far I have used permanent markers and colored pencils, and I'm doing a little bit of a watercolor wash on top of it. So the trick with painting with watercolor paints is knowing whether you're painting on dry paper or on wet paper. On dry paper, you can make marks that kind of just stay put. But if your paper is wet, if you put water, just plain water on it, and then add your watercolor paint, see what's happening? See how it's blurring and smearing? And that can be a cool effect. Some artists do that intentionally. That's called a watercolor wash. This is a picture of Charlie Mackesy. He is a living, breathing artist, working artist in England. And I have fallen in love with his artwork. I've been looking at a lot of it online uh, while I've been here at home. And he has written a book that I bought for myself called The Boy, the Mole, the Fox, and the Horse. And I want to share part of it with you today. I love Charlie Mackesy's illustrations. He does a combination of media. He has black, bold lines, looks like permanent ink and then he does a watercolor wash over top. This is where the boy and the fox and the mole meet the horse for the first time. Can you see how he combined permanent ink and watercolor wash in this one? Okay, so you wanna think about how your different materials or your different media works together. If I do a watercolor wash on top of a line, it depends on what the line's made out of. If it's made out of permanent marker, and I do a watercolor wash, you can still see the permanent marker through the wash. Let's see what happens on top of crayon. Yep, I can still see that crayon line. Colored pencil, showing through. Oil pastels. Yeah, you know crayon and oil pastel push away the watercolor wash. So you can do right on top and never mess up what's underneath. What happens though if I do a watercolor wash over washable markers? Do you see how my blue washable marker line is starting to run? So you need to know how your different materials work together. Experiment, play with it, see what happens. Then you can blend them together to make a picture of your own. Can you see where I was experimenting earlier today? There's some permanent marker, there's some crayon, but look what the watercolor did on top of the washable marker. So play around. That's what artists do. They experiment a lot. They try new things with different materials and see how it all works together. Have fun with this. So I want to finish by reading a few of my favorite pages from The Boy, The Mole, The Fox, and The Horse by Charlie Mackesy. I'm so small, said the mole. Yes, said the boy but you make a huge difference. What do you want to be when you grow up? Kind, said the boy. Nothing beats kindness, said the horse. It sits quietly beyond all things. Always remember, you matter. You're important and you're loved. And you bring to the world things that no one else can. That's why I want you to keep being creative and keep being kind. And remember, learning never stops.